Okay, well, here's the new array. Got a one metre unit with a thermometer mounted on one end. Uh, power distribution box, just basically with a, a connection on the back of the IEC there. Yeah, the uh, two mains connections to the IEC and the dimmer um, 10 volt supplies coming in before being sent off down to the dimmer pop down here. Uh, let me show you that. Uh, yeah, there we go. And we've got the dimmer down there. So, that's the configuration on top. Oh, yeah, let's just take a close up on those drivers. These are our new ones just in from China. Beautifully made. 0 10 volt dimmer ball, 36 volt out. These are 240 watt units, so we've got 500 watts, 480 watts in total, um, which is approximately 200% overdri overdrive capable. And there's the actual detail of the array itself. So we've got Two rows of three cobs, two rows of three cobs as usual, mounted to our extrusion in the same style as our pre production prototype. Alright, well, let's get this beast apart, shall we, for cleaning? detail here, just use standard 100 mil uh, 90 degrees and T pieces and they're just simply banded in with a band of alley wrapped around on itself and a hose clip and that means that this is fully adjustable in relationship to these and these have a degree of sideways adjustment. units themselves. I just used a half band and just clamped from the back of the existing pipe. At last. Right. Okay, I'll we'll show you the detail on this. We've used some different Molex uh, cob holders this time, pre-wired. Uh, just makes wiring up a little bit simpler. Uh, they were excessively expensive on the RS suppliers that we normally use for our cob holders. Um, but we've managed to find a much cheaper supply. I've got these down to about £3 a unit now, which is acceptable on a build like this. volt digital voltmeter. Very sensitive, very nice. to accommodate this little digital voltmeter we needed to get 12 volts to the supply here and so I just put a little cheap 5 quid uh, buck converter which takes our 36 volts uh, 30, 36, 30 to 40 volt 
supply. In fact, the, uh, the dimmed range doesn't seem to affect it too much. Um, input, and then we just trim it for a 12 volt output. Uh, we've got the thermal sensor for the thermometer drilled into the heatsink there, and then hot snotted on from the back. Yeah, so that's two arrays, nice and serviceable. And here's this detail of the actual fabrication here. We've got just wing nuts coming through from our eyelets in the top there. Simple aluminium frame. And we've got a 130 uh, degree slot taken out of a piece of aluminium tube with a half pipe of uh, acrylic all silicon seamed, screwed into place, nice and structural. So let's give this thing a clean and put it back together. So I suppose just a, a brief uh, description here. The issue that I had with the previous design was that the case was A, far too complex to make, uh, and B, exceedingly expensive for how well it did the job. With this design, essentially the tubular construction did away with the need for a large scale frame, the actual uh, uh, the holders essentially for the heatsink become the structural component. And as you can see with the, with the uh, acrylic siliconed and screwed to the aluminium we have an incredibly rigid body here even without the, the ends on. So, that's that. I'm just pop it back together now. Let's just pop in and clip down. Pop in the hole, make sure it's securely home, and clip down. Just tap that in under there. Just align that on with this central screw, and job's good.
see, this is adjustable to whatever angle you want. You can that way if you want. First thing to point out is that even with the dimmer turned all the way down, we can still see our temperature on there. And up she comes. Beautifully sensitive dimmer switch. I mean, look. Only about 50 watts. So look away. About 100, 150, 200, 300, and all the way up to 440. I realise the power supplies are capable of uh, 480, but I've limited it to. Uh, um, 180% overdriven just to uh, protect the cobs, just to keep them away from that maximum 200%. And you can see all the cobs lighting up and dimming beautifully evenly off of a single pot and a pair of dimmers and a pair of uh, dimmable drivers. Very happy with these drivers, uh, run beautifully cold. Let's just show you these. Certainly, every bit as good as their. Uh, mean world equivalent and half the price these were uh, these were approximately 30 quid a piece uh, weigh an absolute ton and uh, seem to work beautifully in service their specifications are superb uh, they're the only com uh, manufacturers of drivers that I could find that declared the um, source of their component parts so uh, uh, Bright Star here um, declare that they use, I think it was Mitotoyu uh, capacitors and Honeywell bridge rectifiers from recollection, something along those lines. One of the, the major bridge rectifier manufacturers, anyway. And a um, uh, claimed uh, performance of greater than 98%, which is phenomenal. Uh, certainly, they seem to draw about three. 3 watts each uh, offload and uh, I haven't actually checked that that 98% performance is accurate but I see no real, real reason to doubt it so there we go first of the production production models this one isn't actually specific speaking of production this is a customer order for a specific space this was designed for a 1.2 meter square tent, uh, hence the overall length of one metre. Um, hopefully the, uh, the actual units that I'll be making will be the full one metre twenty length for large scale application. Anyway, there you go. Enjoy. See you on the next video.